guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. I've got back from a very long and very tiring second day of another stage, just another stage of my PT course. I am pretending I have energy at the end of the day. I'm trying to help myself up for this video. I'm trying to get hyped. I'm trying to get excited. I might be failing. Let's get started. See ya. So I actually got back a little bit early from today's session. As you guys can see, it is only 10 past six in the evening. So it's not quite ready for dinner. I'm having a snack. I'm just gonna boil two eggs, hard boil two eggs. Get a little bit of a kick of a protein, a kick of protein in there. I'm not even making sense in this video. I'm gonna do my best to make this exciting. I'm gonna do my best to be excited. I'm gonna do my best to make it entertaining. So you just have to let me get, oh my god, oh my god, I literally can't even think straight. It's not even like I'm dehydrated or anything like that, I'm not dehydrated, I'm just exhausted. I mean I got home, I got home yesterday and I, that was later on though, it was about around about 7, 8 o'clock because I stayed at the gym and trained after the course had finished. Today however, I just decided to take the day off because I only train 5 days a week and so I can afford to take those rest days off when I can just tell I know in my own body that I'm not going to have a good session. So sometimes it is best for me to actually just take the day off and then say, no, you know what, we'll take a rest day and we'll come back tomorrow. Listen to your body. That is one of the biggest and best pieces of advice any personal trainer or anyone, any social media guru online can give you is to listen to your body and know your body over time and that's exactly what I've done today. I'm excited for these eggs. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I feel glad, so. You know, the weirdest thing is happening on my Instagram. Like the weirdest, I've never, I've never personally known anything like it. I'll talk about it a little bit later, but like, it's, it's weird. Step one, find the biggest piece of chicken you can find in the whole pack. Step two, add some bacon. I smell burning, I smell burning, I smell burning, I smell burning, I smell burning. It's okay. Voila! Sweet potato is a little underdone chicken, a little overdone, but it's all good. <laughs> okay, dinner as always did not last long. We actually ate it really, really quickly and ended up adding a little bit of gravy, um, which is always nice. And now we are snacking on what is turning out to be heaven on. Uh, this is the peanut butter cup flavour, this is probably, this is your favourite isn't it Charlotte, but mine would, well we've only had the vanilla and the peanut butter, my favourite so far is the vanilla and it's even lower calorie, Halo Top has never been available in the UK until it's been sold in Tesco and probably a couple of other places, over the last couple of weeks it's been on sale for £2.50 a tub, which is bargain, an absolute bargain, especially for ice cream, so, that is that. I am going to put the camera down for the rest of the night, um, chill, because I'm up first thing in the morning and this vlog will be up later on Wednesday so I can actually show you a full day or at least keep you updated with my day whilst I'm on this course just to keep you guys in the loop. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm late. Okay, we're good. So let me tell you more about this Instagram malarkey. Long story short, I posted a post and got loads of interaction on it. Like 30,000. I gained a couple hundred followers. I mean, it was just love and good vibes all around. It was great. The post was basically just me posting a regular old selfie. Honestly, I thought I had, okay, I've got nothing to post. So I'll take a quick selfie with a bicep peak. Um, and that was that. But this selfie was ever so slightly different to a regular 
selfie that I would post. The mirror in the bathroom is bolted to the wall, right? And so basically what happened is the bolts that attached the mirror to the wall covered one of my nipples pretty much exactly, right? And so everybody, just basically everyone lost their shit. <laughs> It's hilarious how your nipple is now a bolt. It's quite frustrating in a way because I didn't know what I'd done. Every single post that I've posted takes a lot of time, you know, you edit it ever so slightly, you know, it takes a long time to put together. Whereas this post, pretty much, I, I just took it, I didn't even edit it, it was just a raw picture, I just took it, posted it, and you lot went mental. Thank you. Thank you. So if any of you know anything about how I can do that on every single post, Holler at me with your secrets. Social media is just such a weird and wonderful place. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Hello? Nope. I haven't actually said that for a while. So, do me a favour guys. Drop a video a like and a comment down below if you understand that joke and if you do understand it put it in the comment section i just had a great third day on the course third day out of four so i'm there again on thursday which is tomorrow my original idea was to kind of show you guys the entire day sort of bit by bit but then i realized when i got there i was like hang on a minute this is the reason i couldn't vlog it the first time not everybody that's here can be on camera no it's not fair to put them on you know without their permission and all that kind of stuff so um i did actually manage to hit i trained afterwards it was leg day today and i did manage to hit a 250 kg leg press pb so that was pretty cool other than that we pretty much just planned stuff for the final assessment which jake who is on the videos every now and then if you might remember him from back buys chest tries legs arms back buys he is going to be helping me and he is going to be my client for the practical exam other than that we just did well we, we, we did lots of lots of core work so uh yeah so guys i wanted to just quickly finish off today's video with a little bit of an update with the bulk i gave you guys kind of like an update video a couple weeks back or probably less than that actually um and this is just a further update purely because there has been some changes to the plan. This morning I woke up at 184 pounds. As you guys know, there is about four weeks left of the bulk. That means an extra two pounds to add on. I only have an extra one pound in the allowed sort of balance that I had. Two things with this. That's either because I had McDonald's breakfast, I'm not gonna lie, I had McDonald's breakfast the last two days in a row because it is the PT, uh, the PT stuff. I didn't get up in time. There's a McDonald's right next to the hotel where the PT stuff is and you know, I just couldn't resist. So we have to bear in mind that one of the reasons that I'm a little bit heavier than I should be is because I'm holding a little bit of water weight which to be honest, it seems like the lesser possibility. I don't think I'm holding any water weight. I, I mean, you know, it's the end, it's peak bulk season now, all right? So, you know, the, uh, the old jawline is starting to disappear, if not already gone. Not only that, I still have much, much, much more visible abs at this point in time at 184 pounds than I did sort of last year and the year before and all that kind of stuff. This is, in a way, I guess you could say the best I've ever looked. So it is for that reason and that reason alone that I say I'm ahead of schedule because I've put on more muscle than I expected. At the end of the day guys, I'm still a newbie when it comes to training. I've only been training less than 18 months. Half of that I've been cutting for, so not necessarily building on, putting on a good solid foundation of muscle. That has not been my goal for the, for you know, a good sustained period of time that I've been training. And so, it is because of that that I'm saying I'm ahead of schedule on the bulk in terms of weight, in terms of pounds waking up in the morning because I put on more muscle. That was the ultimate goal and so to be honest I don't mind being one slash two pounds over if that is the case then even if I do get down to the still still the same weight of 175 pounds it means I'll be even leaner but even bigger than I would have been in the first place. So that is just a quick little update as to where I'm at. There is as I say guys there's about four weeks left so not long left until we are cutting. I do not repeat 
I do not want to be fat in time for body power, so I will be cutting at the start of March, and that is final. So guys, that is going to round off today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers, and thank you for all of the support on that <laughs> on that nipple photo, right? Okay, yeah, I'm just going to say it on the bolt nipple photo thing. It's up to th over 30,000 people have seen it. I cannot believe it. Anyway, so thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, remember, no regrets. Together, we will grow in 2018. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.